the ball forward. There he is, though, losing out of the ball in midfield. And it's a chance now for Maloney to come forward. Maloney with a long range effort. Well, wide, though. <laughs> Applause. Curled in, left footed to the near post. It's taken a deflection and it's in. <laughs> Goal coming from Kieran Burton. It was swept in. And Harriers find themselves a goal down. Burton taking the plaudits for the goal. Finding Starbuck, who can come forward on this right-hand side. Hemmings clipping the ball in, right-footed. Goggin has come forward, it's a goal from Ethan Fremantle. Gets the equalising goal, barely 30 seconds after Harriers were trailing. First effort towards the Scarborough goal. Hemmings clipping the ball in from the right-hand side. And Ethan Fremantle rising in front of the goalkeeper who'd come off his line. And it is 1-1, Ethan Fremantle with the goal there for Harriers. Good defending there from Scarborough. Played out only as far as Shane Byrne. Byrne with the drive, and it's uh, flicked over by the goalkeeper. The diving Cracknell there, keeping that ball out. Long throw into the Harriers area. Flicked up in the air there by Byrne. It's not cleared away. It's run through, and offside surely. No, it isn't, and it's a second goal. And it's Kieran Burton with his second. Now, that was really poor defending from Harriers. Ball bobbling in the area. It came through. And Kieran Burton standing there, four yards from goal. Flicked it. Harriers taking it quickly. Shot coming in. Oh, tipped over again. What a brilliant save from the keeper to deny Ethan Fremantle. That was screaming towards, it was dipping. Morgan Smith, Leek, Kieran Pearce, uh, Christian Pearce all standing on the edge of the box. Left by Hemmings, it's Byrne lifting it towards the far post. Drops down and Christian Pearce will chase. The two number fives running over to that far side. Will Thornton, well he's been beaten and then he's going to be beaten a second time as Pearce flicks the ball back into the path of Keziah Martin. Martin out to Pierce on that far side, no offside as Pierce goes down the left hand side again, trying to win the corner. It's swept in field and Harriers will win it back through Morgan Smith. Play back this time, Harriers flick, swicking the ball in from. It's a header down, parried away, and it's in for Harriers. The goal being hit by Tom Leake, the central defender, gets the equalising goal for a second time. Leak initially denied with a save by goalkeeper Cracknell, but he was there to follow up and drive the ball into the bottom right-hand corner of Cracknell's goal. Hemmings tracks back in, cuts in field, swings it across field to, from right to left to Caleb Richards. Gabby Rogers is further wide. Rogers now got a chance to go against the fullback. Rogers is tricky, puts the ball into the near post. It's headed goalwards by Morgan Smith. But he was watched carefully there by Will Thornton. And the ball goes wide of Cracknell's right hand upright. Darlington have doubled their lead on the stroke of half-time at Telford. Telford nil, Darlington two is the scoreline as Harriers look for a, a third goal. Hemmings it is, drills it. Oh, and that was dipping just over the, the bar, but it's taken a deflection, I think. Off the number 10, Kieran Glynn, as that ball was whipped towards goal. Hemmings beaten to it, but he gets a block on there and it runs out to that far side. And Starbuck, well, the rule ricocheting back up, and there's a break on and a chance for Colville to get to the uh, byline. Still working with Colville. Can he flick the ball into the gap? He can, but Harry has put a body there. It's dropped out to the edge of the box and it's driven first time. But. Uh, over the angle. I mean, yes, we've had 54 minutes of the game so far. Scarborough Athletic 2, Kinemis Harriers 2, and it's Palmer rising through a, a number of bodies, and it's in, is it? Into the back of the net. I'll just see, is it in? It is a goal for Scarborough. And I get a funny feeling that it may well be a hat trick for Kieran Burton, who was at the far post. And Harry is getting up to the halfway line. It's going to be returned quickly, though, over Shane Byrne. Again into the box. Bodies going down. The referee says no penalty. As uh, 
bodies are lying down and it's a good challenge there by Piers out to the far side and it's uh, the hat-trick hero Burton on that far side who suddenly humps the ball about 30 yards up in the sky and Harriers will look to try and clear the danger but it's not away red shirts mentioned forward again ball in oh it's dropped and it's in the state by Palmer and it's a fourth goal for Scarborough Played back. Burton over the top of Starbuck and Harry is all of a sudden looking a little bit ragged. Ball into the centre. McGuckin could finish it off. And he had the effort there. Scarborough scramble it clear only as far as... Oh, that's got to be referees playing on as Harry is breaking into the area. Back again towards Fremantle. Shot on the turn is blocked. And then it'll be played out and Harry is will keep the pressure on. Leak. Out to this near side. Rogers it is. Cuts in field. Little ball into Shane Byrne. Byrne with a shot. Blocked. Played in. And now the break is on for Scarborough. Ball out to that far side again. Starbuck stepping in field. Play to Morgan Smith on the edge of the box. Oh, it's a ricochet out. Low it is to this near side. Cissé will turn. Playing out wide to Rogers. Rogers turning his man again. Lifting the ball in. Goalkeeper's back packing. Oh, he's taken a block, has he? It's uh, ridden away. It's away for a corner. As uh, Cracknell unable to hold that. But uh, Scarborough will be looking to increase here as low drills one wide of the target. That Cracknell can take. And I would think the referee, having looked at his watch for a third time has decided that's enough Scarborough Athletic have secured a victory over Kidderminster Harriers here this evening at the Flamingoland Stadium a hat-trick from Kieran Burton is what set them on their way Harriers twice catching up from behind